Picture this, a colossal cube standing 400 meters tall, wide, and long, dominating the skyline of Riyadh. A structure so vast that it could swallow 20 Empire State Buildings and still have space to spare. This isn't a vision from a sci-fi film. It's the macabre, an architectural marvel that aims to become the world's largest building structure. Initially, many doubted it. A cube of this scale, packed with immersive digital experiences and cutting-edge holograms? It sounded more like a futuristic fantasy than a real construction project. But despite the skepticism, excavation has begun. Heavy machinery is now carving out the foundation of this record-breaking structure, pushing it closer to reality. But what exactly is the macabre? Why is it being built? And can it really be completed as planned by 2030? Let's find out. At the heart of Saudi Arabia's ambitious Vision 2030, the macabre is the centerpiece of New Muraba, a massive urban development designed to transform Riyadh into a modern global hub. Spanning 19 square kilometers, this new downtown will feature a mix of commercial, residential, and entertainment spaces, all centered around the gigantic cube. But what makes this colossal structure so special? Let's start with the scale. Each side of the Mokab stretches 400 meters, making it not just a skyscraper, but a super tall structure in every direction. Unlike traditional towers that pierce the sky with a narrow profile, this cube creates an immense interior volume, far beyond anything ever built. But what happens inside is even more mind-blowing. Step through its doors, and reality itself begins to shift. The macabre will house an immersive virtual environment powered by cutting-edge holographic technology. Imagine walking on the surface of Mars one moment and diving into the depths of an ancient underwater city the next, all without ever leaving Riyadh. At the heart of this surreal world, a spiraling tower will rise, surrounded by hotels, entertainment venues, and luxury shopping. And here's the kicker. The tower itself will surpass the height of the Eiffel Tower, making it the largest indoor structure on Earth. Beyond the cube's walls, New Muraba will offer green spaces, walking paths, and sustainable transportation systems, all designed to make Riyadh a more livable and futuristic city. With 104,000 residential units, 9,000 hotel rooms, and over 80 entertainment venues, the development is expected to reshape Saudi Arabia's tourism and real estate landscape. But for all its grandeur, the Mokab faces some serious challenges. From the moment the Mokab was announced, one question loomed large. Can it actually be built? The sheer weight and scale of the cube push engineering to its limits. Unlike a typical skyscraper that channels weight straight down, the macabre's design requires an entirely different approach. A structure this massive must distribute its load across all sides, raising the challenge of stability. And then there's the interior. How do you create such a vast open space without relying on massive support columns? This is an unprecedented test for modern architecture. But the engineering hurdles don't stop there. The entire concept of the Mokab revolves around cutting-edge holographic projections and immersive digital screens. The technology exists. Venues like the Las Vegas Sphere have already proven that. But nothing has ever been attempted on this scale. A single glitch in the system would shatter the illusion, making reliability a major concern. Can the world's largest holographic display function seamlessly in a space this enormous? That's the billion dollar question. And speaking of billions, there's the financial elephant in the room. The estimated cost of New Muraba is a staggering $50 billion, but early funding efforts have fallen short. In 2023, Knight Frank reported that only $3.6 billion had been secured, just 7% of what's needed. Most of this funding came from the Saudi Public Investment Fund, PIF, 
but foreign investors were still needed to cover the rest. Without external investment, many feared the project would stall before it even got off the ground. But despite these concerns, something surprising happened. By late 2024, the skeptics were proven wrong. The macabre was no longer just a futuristic concept. But how do we know? Satellite images told the story. They revealed a massive, square-shaped excavation in northwest Riyadh, 400 meters wide, perfectly matching the planned dimensions of the cube. And the progress was staggering. According to official reports, by October 2024, 86% of the excavation had already been completed. More than 10 million cubic meters of earth had been removed, enough to fill nearly one-sixth of the macabre itself. Every day, over 900 workers and 250 excavators operated non-stop, shaping the land for the structure's foundation. But moving this much earth is only part of the challenge. The project also needed a way to keep construction running smoothly without bringing Riyadh's traffic to a standstill. The solution? A temporary bridge over King Khalid Road. This bridge would allow equipment and workers to move freely across the site, eliminating the need for constant road crossings. In fact, officials estimated that it would prevent 800,000 truck movements, significantly reducing the impact on the surrounding infrastructure. Despite the scale of the project, the team remained confident. Michael Dyke, CEO of New Maraba, assured the world that the Mukab was on track. He even set a countdown, exactly 2,283 days until December 31st, 2030, the day Riyadh's skyline would be transformed forever. Despite visible progress, one major question remains. Where is the rest of the money coming from? In October 2024, Dyke publicly admitted that Numeraba still needed outside investment. While some funding had been secured, it wasn't nearly enough to bring the project to completion. With such financial uncertainty, some experts believe the developers might be forced to scale back the macabre's final design. Could they really build the world's largest immersive environment with limited funds? Maybe not. Instead, they might focus on completing the exterior of the cube first pushing the advanced digital features into later phases. Then there's the biggest challenge of all, the holographic dome. The entire concept of the macabre relies on a fully immersive 360 degree digital experience. But here's the catch. The technology to pull this off at such a massive scale doesn't fully exist yet. Sure, smaller versions of immersive domes can be found in places like Las Vegas but the macabre's version would need to be 20 times larger. That's an engineering feat no one has ever attempted. So, what happens if the holographic system proves too complex? Some speculate that the developers might turn to a more practical alternative, a massive LED display system, similar to the one used in the Las Vegas Sphere. It would still be an awe-inspiring feature, but let's be honest. It wouldn't be the groundbreaking, futuristic experience that was originally promised. The clock is ticking toward 2030, but will the macabre be completed as planned? Some experts are skeptical. They argue that a scaled-back version of the project might be the only realistic outcome. Instead of delivering the full vision by 2030, developers could focus on Phase 1 completing the exterior and essential infrastructure first, with immersive features coming later. This wouldn't be the first time a mega project took a phased approach. The Boeing Everett factory, the world's largest building by volume, wasn't built overnight. It expanded in stages over decades. Could the macabre follow the same path? Pressure is mounting. Saudi Arabia's World Expo 2030 in Riyadh is a major deadline, pushing developers to ensure the macabre stands as a functional landmark by then. And with the 2034 FIFA World Cup also set to take place in Saudi Arabia, there's another long-term milestone that could influence the timeline. So, will the macabre deliver on its futuristic promise, or will it fall short of its ambitious goals? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.